Hi sisters. Um, Sister Griffiths asked me if I would take a couple minutes and share my testimony about Joseph Smith and how I gained my testimony or a little bit about that. And so I will just share a little bit about my experience. Um, I remember, so I grew up in the church. My parents raised me in the church and I was baptized when I was eight. Um, and when I was maybe 20, um, President Hinckley was the prophet at the president of the church at the time. And he gave a challenge to everybody to finish reading the Book of Mormon from start to finish during that year. So I don't know for sure what year that was, maybe 2005 or something. Um, and so I, it's kind of sad because I was a seminary kid and like I said, grew up in the church, but I guess I didn't have a super solid habit of scripture study and I really hadn't felt like I had I maybe read the, well, I think I had read the Book of Mormon from start to finish, but it had been a long time. I think I had done it like as a kid. Um, and maybe when I was like 12 or something, I remember doing it in Young Women's, but, um, it had been a while. And so I really wanted to complete this challenge um because the prophet invited us to do it and also I was considering serving a mission and sorry without going into too much detail because um I think Denise only wanted like a minute or two but um I just remember it getting to be the end of the year and completing that challenge and I really just believe that when the prophet gives us, you know, instructions or like specific counsel or challenges. And when we have the faith to do those things, I mean, reading the Book of Mormon or reading the scriptures is something that we've been invited to do anyway. But I think when we have a special invitation from a prophet, then there are also special blessings that come along with that. And so it was really important, felt really important to me at that time to just have a meaningful experience with the Book of Mormon and really feel like I could get an answer about its truthfulness and truthfulness of the restoration. And and part of the reason that felt really important to me was that I wanted to serve a mission and I just really wanted to, I was looking for some kind of special experience to kind of have under my belt. And, um, I, so I did, I finished reading the Book of Mormon and, um, I was at my parents' house. I think it was probably Christmas break because it was the end of that year. And so I was home from the semester of college and yeah, I remember finishing. I remember kneeling down and praying and asking to know that the Book of Mormon was true. And I, um, can remember the special feeling that I had letting me know that it is true and I have been able to always look back on that experience and many other experiences that I've had um, with the scriptures and with the living church that I know is the restored church and I'm grateful for the prophet Joseph Smith who I know was the person that the Lord chose to restore the church on the earth today. And I share that testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.